Howdy y'all, Dean Stilly here from the official home of unofficial Grateful Dead and Music News. Uh, reporting on night one in San Francisco, bands at the Chase Center. This time of year, every year for decades and decades, you can't help but to reflect back on uh, uh, New Year's gone by. I was today just thinking about so many things. It used to be, uh, I started going to New Year's uh, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, and then we were done with that, but uh, I started going then, and you'd, you'd take the flight Christmas night from Newark to San Francisco, and uh, that flight was packed with deadheads, it was all deadheads. And you it used to be a smoking section on the plane uh, for young people out there. It used to be a smoking and non-smoking section on the plane. It it was hard to get a seat in in the non smoke in the smoking section. Everybody wanted the smoking section on that flight. Uh, really, that can filled up with so much smoke. Uh, Lord knows we were passing around up there, flying the friendly skies. The first flight I'd ever been on that sold out of booze, I, there was no booze left. Uh, you couldn't buy any liquor. Uh, f folks drank everything. That was a partying ass flight going from Newark to San Francisco on Christmas night. Uh, boy, we, we had us a high time. Those were some days. Uh, just great, great. Every year, same thing, same crew, same uh, plane full of people doing the same thing. and. Uh, that's just a, it's great for New Year's to be happening here uh, at the Chase Center. I think it's fantastic. It's uh, just a lot of memories. Uh, times come. They were always fun ones, too. It's uh, New Year's is special. It's just the whole environment and the energy, and it's New Year's, and it just adds. You get three sets. There's just a lot of, just the feeling you can't replicate. And so anyone that's been part of that over the years knows it. There's been some good ones. So uh, anyway, let's get on with uh, the Chase Center. We, we get things started with Shakedown. Uh, Shakedown's just fine. Uh, the, the half step follows it. I, I really, see, tonight, because uh, I don't always think the pace is a problem, uh, tonight I think, even though some of the songs were maybe a little bit slower, I, I think they maintained some tension at the center that kept it interesting. And uh, if, that, if that tension kind of doesn't exist, right there in the center of the song when it's moving slow, then to me it's just a sleeper, but they were maintaining some pretty good tension there at the center of the tunes, even the ones that were moving maybe a little bit slower. I thought Shakedown Half Step was was really good. I enjoyed Half Step. Cumberland came up next. That one's always a winner, and uh, you know, when, when this band uh, kind of heads into furious jams and stuff like that. C Cominti's always leading the way. Uh, he, he really, he's the lead dog on that sled. Uh, if he's going off, the whole band follows, and he oftentimes is the match that, you know, it gets thrown at the gasoline. When, when he's lit up, forget about it. The whole thing's going to go, and uh, that's how it was with Cumberland. It hurts me, too. I thought John was great on. thought uh, as he was feeling that. I thought it sounded smooth. Uh, high time up next. O'Teal, beautiful on high time. Uh, uh, really, to me, that one, uh, uh, just a, a beautiful song in the rotation. I absolutely love hearing it. Uh, it, it doesn't need much. Like, you can't over-sing high time. It, it doesn't need that. It's like so many Hunter tunes. When you try to do too much with Hunter tunes... Uh, you almost, they just don't need all, that's what Garcia sang with so much soul and emotion and, and simply, and uh, you know, sometimes people try to dress up a Garcia so song too much, it, it just doesn't do it any justice, it's kind of like if, if you live here it, around New Jersey, I'm in New Jersey here, you're familiar with the Northeast, if you go to Chinatown, there in Lower Manhattan, and you get beef chow fun, you just get chow fun noodles and beef. And that's it. And for some reason, when you go to Jersey, uh, they try to put like broccoli in it and string beans. And it just doesn't need that shit. It's chow fun. It needs chow fun noodles and beef or, or whatever you want in it. But uh, anyway, they try to do too much with it. And it makes it less good. And that's what happens when you try to do too much with a Garcia song. It has an ability to make it less good. O'Teal sang it simply, and it was beautiful. Really, sometimes when we are singing some Garcia tunes, 
uh, that kind of dawns on me. Happened uh, with the mighty Quinn tonight for the encore. We'll, we'll get to that naturally, but uh, anyway, the high time, O'Teal, a great job on that. Uh, sang it simply, right from his heart, and uh, beautiful. Cold rain and snow up next, and uh, that's always a fun time. The bird song uh, found some incredibly interesting spots to, to explore. So I, I, all in all, I thought the first set was great. Uh, I, I really, I had a ball listening to it and participating. It seemed like the energy w was right. You, you could feel it. You know, it translates. When things are right, it, it translates. I'm sure if you're there, it was, you know, unicorns were mating and, you know, and uh, probably stardust everywhere. And I, I know, I know, I know. Anyway, uh, intermission, everyone says, wow, that was great. And they hug each other and this must be the best show ever. They fucking bozos. A anyway, music never stop. Kicks off the second set, and uh, I like to hear that. Uh, uh, sluggish once again. It, it was moving slow, but I think it stayed interesting because it seemed like it had the proper uh, kind of support coming from the center of it. So uh, it didn't fall down. I, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Maybe it was just me. You get deal up next. The deal found some great spots, and that added a lot of energy. Uh, the end of that, a lot of energy uh, got thrown into the Steven, and uh, I always love hearing the Steven. To me, it's just there's so many great pieces of this whole little trio of, uh, of songs that they play. The William Tell, the Eleven. Uh, I just love that whole stretch. That's always a good ride, and it was again tonight. The 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 end of the lyrical part of the 11 it f it fell apart a little bit, but it didn't matter. They kind of did a good job just blending that into a, a, a some kind of meltdown jam. You know, sometimes the, the meltdown's intentional at times. When they're trying not to melt down, and they are, it's a, it's not psychedelic. It's just oops. And in, anyway, most people probably don't know. They're higher than the motherfucker. They think, oh man, that was the wildest thing ever since the carousel ballroom. I, I don't know. People think some stupid shit out there. Uh, anyway, I might be one of them sometimes. Who knows? Uh, here you go, you get Love Light is up next. And that makes everybody happy. Uh, a little bit of a, a false start there, something like that. Uh, that one kind of trickled out of the gate slow, but once again retained uh, uh, some character. So uh, the pace to me wasn't a problem because uh, the song kind of maintained its its integrity throughout. I, I, I loved it. It seemed it was a uh, uh, we are taking leads. He's taking leads tonight. That's cute. Uh, we are taking leads. Uh, uh, listen, uh, O'Teal, a little falsetto we got from O'Teal tonight. O'Teal did some of the falsetto on backup. I thought it actually sounded pretty good. Uh, the times they were uh, in harmonies and uh, John was in his natural voice and O'Teal was doing was uh, uh, a little higher than he tends to be. I thought they sounded great. Uh, so we get the drums. Uh, uh, comes up next. The mellow drums goes into a, a you know space that was just uh, the best space ever of all time. Is uh, my brain showed me pictures of, uh, of birth scenes that were beautiful and without blood, and it, it just really was the most magical time anyone's ever had at a concert ever. So uh, that was followed up by the wheel, and um, you know the wheel sometimes can. Uh, uh, sputter around a little bit. I thought the wheel was interesting. Once again, uh, even things that were moving slow to me had something interesting. It had the characteristics, that little bit of something on them that uh, kept them interesting. And I thought that was the case with the wheel. That that melts down into uh, Stella. You get Stella. The beginning of Stella, we're a little bit ahead of the moment. Uh, most of those moments. Uh, which was, it makes it more awkward because Garcia was always slightly behind it. So if someone's slightly ahead of it, as opposed to what I'm used to hearing, uh, slightly behind it, uh, the difference, it grows. So anyway, that's all right. We, uh, there was only one, he's gone. We're, we're just listening to what we got now. You can't compare it to that. There's no comparison. So uh, pardon me for that. Uh, anyway, it, I think that it, that got straightened out after a verse or so, and I think uh, he, he fell behind the moment a little bit. Uh, uh, really, this is chow fun principle, really. A chow fun principle, uh, trying to stylize or add too much to a simple dish doesn't make it a better dish. It just 
uh, makes it a dish with more shit on it that some of it you probably didn't even want. I want to order broccoli, I'll order broccoli. I'll get a side of broccoli. But if I want chow fun, uh, I just want the beef and the chow fun noodles. Uh, I'm hungry. I wish I'd go to Wohop now. I'm feeling like I need Wohop. Hey, anyway, Casey Jones, to close the show, uh, uh, the, the hiccup right out of the gate on that one. Uh, nobody was sure, do we start now, do we not? But it, it got strong in the middle. Uh, it's, like a, it's, it's, like, it's like an erection with too much LSD. It's hard in the middle. Uh, strong in the middle, uh, uh, the ends of it were uh, not what you'd hope for. Uh, but that's okay, because a fun song, fun sometimes the end of that one, they really kill it. They, uh, uh, they go on and on and kill it. It seemed like it ended a little bit abruptly, but uh, I thought it was a good time. L listen, they come out for the encore. All hail the Mighty Quinn. I always loved the Mighty Quinn. Uh, always one of my favorite encores. Uh, 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 9991 of Love. That's Last Time Do uh, out of space. That do was great. The Last Time's great. And, and the Mighty Quinn is fantastic. That was at the Garden. And I, I listened to that little stretch of tunes a lot. Uh, uh, that's a segment that, for whatever reason, is incredibly special to me. But, uh, you know, uh, we here on the Mighty Quinn, well, uh, I'm not sure. There was a what-the-fuck moment or two in there where, where I thought, like, here we go, we're putting uh, broccoli and chow fun again. So there was a little, that was some of the theme tonight. We had a, we had some quarters was our, our theme from L.A. We got the chow fun principle in full effect tonight. Uh, the, the the harmonies at the end of the Mighty Quinn I thought were great. I thought those were some well done harmonies. Once again, I believe it, O'Teal, that was O'Teal and falsetto. John in his natural voice, strong harmonies at the end of the uh, of of the Quinn. That's a, that's kind of that's some good harmonies there. I, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna listen to it again. Make sure they were as good as they came across the first time. But uh, first night in San Francisco. I absolutely enjoyed it. I love this band. Listen, sometimes when I'm not crazy about something, people are on the, the haters love it. The haters, uh, they love if I have something bad to say. The haters will hate this one because I thought it was a, a, a really good show, a great time, I'm sure. Uh, so I never review the time you had. People confuse that, too. They, they went there, and they had the fucking time of their life, so... You know, it's supposed to be uh, the greatest thing that anyone's ever heard. And it's really, I just review the music. I, if you're at a Dead & Company show, you ought to be having the time of your life. It's uh, full of amazing people, and, and there's music and lights. It's a big show. How did you not have the time of your life? So uh, I don't confuse the time I'm having with uh, how they're playing the music. And I just talk a little bit about how the music's getting played. A and I'm just starting the conversation. So I like to follow it a little bit on my page and on YouTube and stuff. I just get the conversation started. Doesn't make me right. Doesn't uh, make me wrong. Uh, just a, a set of ears telling you what we're hearing. So anyway, I love you all forever. It'll be a big night tomorrow night. I don't know if I'll be able to report on that one. It'll be a damn near light out by the time that ends when you, you kind of look at East Coast, West Coast uh, time differences. I'll maybe get something out at some point. I'm sure I'll be listening. So uh, Anyway, I love you all forever. Happy New Year's to everybody. I guess I'll be saying that again uh, tomorrow night. But Happy New Year. I love you guys. Uh, thanks for following and, uh, and for taking part in the conversation. Uh, we'll see you in the New Year. Rock and roll.